So now you know what type of business to start, like we discussed in a previous video. And you know that you need to start that business in order to create the wealth and the income that you want in your life. The next step is to just start. And it might sound like an easy step, but this is where most people fail in life. They never actually do it. They know what to do, they know how to do it, they have the right idea, but they never actually take action and start. And this is true. Think about people in your life who said, I'm going to become a millionaire. And then they never do. Or people that say, I'm going to start this, or I'm going to go with this, or I'm going to tackle this, and then they never do it. Inaction is the biggest killer of success. So if you're looking at this video and you're thinking that you're going to wait for the perfect business opportunity, or you're going to wait for the perfect economy, the perfect investor, the perfect government, the perfect climate, the perfect client, the perfect product, the per perfect business partner, that is never going to happen. You need to take the responsibility, take action, and make it happen for yourself. And we can see this in all of the successful people around the world. And there's so many examples right here in South Africa of people that took it into their own hands, took action, and created their success for themselves. I mean, think about Sia Kruza who started in a township and is now developing rocket fuel for NASA. Or think about Lebu, who only had 60 Rand in his pocket and eventually became a millionaire investor on Dragon's Den. Or think about A.B. Khaldnes, Manus Brerak, Max De Chabo, even Elon Musk. They all took action and created that success for themselves. I also took action. I didn't grow up in a wealthy family. I mean, we didn't have property investments. My parents weren't business owners or entrepreneurs. We didn't have a trust fund. And I can still remember when I got to school and I saw all my friends that had these amazing toys that we couldn't afford. I didn't even get pocket money. But I didn't wait for someone to give me money. I didn't wait for my parents to hand me pocket money. I took it upon myself and I started a business by selling plastic strings and toys at primary school to earn pocket money so that I can buy those toys and so that I can buy those sweets that I wanted at the tuck shop. Later, when I started my online media company, Gazaru, we didn't wait for clients to come to us. We realized that we need to go out and get those clients. So we went from door to door selling our products and services. And we knew that for every 10 possible clients that we pitch, one client will take our product or service. So if we wanted 10 clients, we needed to see 100 clients, and we did that. We went out and we got those clients, right? With my property investment company, when I wanted to buy my first property, everyone said, no, don't buy property now. It's a bad economy. Now is not the right time. I bought my first property. When I wanted to buy my second property, they said, now is not a good time. The rent just fell. Don't buy property now. I bought my second property. When I wanted to buy my third and fourth property, they said, now is not the right time. Don't get in the property business. There's land claims and all kinds of things. Don't do it. I kept on buying property and the next one and the next one. And from all of these properties, I've been generating a lot of money while the people that said I shouldn't, the people that stood on the sidelines are still not generating any money. You see, you need to take action. You need to make it work for yourself. There's a famous if one saying that says you need to be in the race to win it. You cannot stand on the sidelines and win the race. If you're not in the car, on the road, driving in the race, you cannot win the race. So don't be one of those people that stands on the pavilion, uh, that's on the sidelines, that's not taking action. You need to take action. You need to be in the race to win it. And now the next question is, okay, Albert, but there's some risk involved when getting in the race. 
What about the fear of failure? Oh, but aren't you afraid to start this new business in this economic climate? Aren't you afraid to buy property with what's currently happening in our country? Aren't you afraid of these things? And my answer to that is, I'm more afraid of regret than the fear of failure. My fear for regret is way bigger. And I can ask you that same question. How would you feel five years from now if you still haven't started that business? How would you feel 10 years from now if you still haven't generated the income that you need to live the life you want? How would you feel 20 years from now if you still haven't bought that property to generate a monthly income for yourself? How would you feel if you don't take the action, if you don't make it work? Now we're going to talk about exactly how you can take those amazing dreams and goals and break them down into smaller pieces, actionable pieces that you can take action on right now. So we're going to do a practical exercise and I want you to take a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to write your dream or your goal right at the top. The dream or the goal that you want to achieve in life. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that big dream or goal and we're going to break it down step by step into smaller pieces until it's something that you can do today. Because we want to start right now. We want to start taking action and making success for ourselves, creating success for ourselves right now. So we need actionable steps that we can execute on immediately. So we're going to take that dream and break it down into smaller pieces. Let me explain to you by using an example of my own. When I was in high school, I wanted to become an international public speaker on business and entrepreneurship. That was one of my big dreams and goals. Now, while I was in high school, do you think that I could immediately become an international public speaker on business and entrepreneurship? Most probably not, right? I was still in high school. I needed to develop some skills and I needed to gain some knowledge first before I could go speak on that big stage. But what can I do right before becoming an international public speaker? I first need to be a national public speaker. Now, is that something that I could do while I was still in high school? Most probably not, right? Before I could become a national public speaker, I first needed to be a local public speaker. Now, is that something that I could do? Maybe, but most probably not. Before I could be a local speaker, I need to be knowledgeable on my subject of entrepreneurship and business, right? I need to know what I'm speaking about. I need to have skills of public speaking, to be able to stand in front of a crowd and speak, right? I need to have those things. I needed to have a brand and a following. Now, are those things that I could immediately have? Can I immediately have skill or knowledge or a following? Most probably not. So in order to get the skill that I needed and the knowledge that I needed, what can I do to get that? Well, I can read books on business and entrepreneurship. I can watch YouTube videos of other international speakers to see what they do and how they speak. I can watch YouTube videos or listen to podcasts of other entrepreneurs and business owners to find out how they think about business, right? I could attend a Toastmasters course to learn me skills on public speaking. Now, are those things that I could do immediately while I was still in high school? Yes. Those are things that I could do immediately just there. And I did. I did all of those things. I read one entrepreneurship book after the other. Every day I watch YouTube videos of entrepreneurs and business owners and speakers all across the world. Right? I started my own businesses since primary school so I can learn from experience. So I understand how business and entrepreneurship works. And I did all of that. And eventually... I became a local public speaker. And then eventually I became a national public speaker. I built a brand. I created a following. And now we're chasing to become an international public speaker. But the point is that you cannot immediately become that big dream or that goal. And then most people just give up. They say, 
Can I become an international public speaker today? Hmm, it's a bit difficult, I can't, and then they just give up. But if you break it down into smaller, 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 smaller steps and pieces, up until the point where it's something that you can do right now, today, then you can start taking action immediately. And that's what we want. So take that piece of paper with that goal at the top and then start seeing what's the step just before that. Then what's the step just before that? What's the step just before that? Until you're at a point where it's something that you can do right now, immediately. And that is something actionable that you can start taking action on. Now you don't have to sit and wait for it to happen to you. Now you don't have to sit and wait for the perfect opportunity or the perfect environment because you have the actionable steps to start taking action immediately and create that success for yourself. Now, that brings me to the next step. A lot of people now say, okay, well, but great, right? Great. I know that I need to start taking action immediately. I know that I need to take responsibility and create my own success. I've taken my big goal and I've broken it down into little pieces until I have actionable steps that I can do right now. But, oh, but for this to happen, I need money. A lot of startup entrepreneurs tell me, oh, but I need an investor. I need a loan. I need capital to start this business. And if you are also believing that, that is simply not true. You can start with zero rand. You don't need capital. You don't need investors and you don't need big loans to create a business and to start that business that's right for you. Now, when people look at my property investment company today, they say, no, but Albert, you've got a construction team with Bucky and tools, and you've got multiple properties to renovate. All of those things cost money. And yes, all of those things do cost money. But that is not where I started. That is not where I started. I started my big property investment company with zero. And I'll tell you how I did it. You see, I started when I was in high school and I went to a guy on our street and I said, I don't want to paint your wall. Your wall needs painting. And he told me, yes, my wall needs painting. How much would it cost? And I said, it will cost you 5,000 Rand to paint that wall. I've already calculated that all of the materials and everything I need will cost me about 2,500 Rand. So I told him, it will cost you 5,000 Rand to paint that wall and I want a 50% deposit before I start. And he said, perfect. 50% deposit, start the job. So then I took that 2,500 Rand and I went and I purchased the paint brushes, uh, the rollers that I needed, the paint, the sandpaper and everything I needed to paint that wall. So I bought all of my equipment that I needed with the money that I got from his deposit. And then I finished the project and I got my remaining 2,500 Rand at the end of the project. Then I used that money to push into the next project so I can do a little bit of a bigger project. And then the next one, and then the next one. And I didn't stop by painting walls. I, I went into painting houses, right? Fixing up cracks of houses, of big houses. I went into construction of concrete slabs and carports and all kinds of things. Eventually, I bought my own houses and started renovating my own houses. You see, with every project, I kept the money in the business so I can buy more tools, get a bigger team, and grow my business until it is where it is today. And it's been a nine-year process since I started in construction. So it's not a quick thing. It's not a get-rich-quick. It's not a make-money-quick. It's a process. From that goal, that big dream, breaking it down step by step into step until we, you can start today with zero rent. So don't wait. Don't wait for the perfect opportunity. Don't wait for the perfect investor. Don't wait for the capital. You can start, and like you've seen with all of the examples we've mentioned, you can start with where you are and what you have 
and create that dream life for yourself. You just need to take action and make it happen. It's up to you. You need to make it happen. Now, if you want to start today, if you say, oh, okay, Albert, I've learned so much in the last two videos, but I need more. I need to know exactly how to build that business from zero rand up to the successful business that it can be. Then I can give you that. You see, I've went back and I looked at all of my experience, lessons learned, tools and tips and techniques that I've gathered over the years of becoming a millionaire at the age of 22. And I put it all together in an online course for you. And we are working together with Junior Tiki to make this course more affordable to you by giving you a coupon code that gives you a big discount on this online course. So start today by going onto my website, www.millionaire22.com and take the Young Millionaire course. Add it to cart and proceed to check out. And just before you purchase it, you add this coupon code to get your discount in order to take the course. Don't wait. Remember, inaction is the biggest killer of success. Start taking action today and create that future for yourself.